I'd like to show you how to work a foundation single crochet and this is a method in which you work your chain stitch and your single crochet all in one go so instead of working first the chain and then coming back to work the single crochets you work them both at the same time so it's a great replacement for for example garments where you don't know exactly how many chain stitches you need beforehand I have a slip knot on my hook and I'm going to do a chain two This last chain, this closest one to your hook, is for turning purposes and then the next one here is the one you're going to be working in. So the one that's that first one you made. To go into that stitch, you want to not only have the one loop but also the loop that's next to it. You want to have two loops on your hook, like so, because you want to make V stitches. Pull through. I'm going to take off one, that's a new chain stitch, and then take off both to work a single crochet. So what you now have is you've worked one single crochet, that's this one here, you've worked a chain, this, that's the one it's in, you've got a chain one here for turning. Some patterns this chain one also counts as a stitch, so depending on your pattern you'll count this as a stitch, yes or no. You've got here one single crochet and one chain. Your next single crochet, if you turn your work to the bottom, you see here a new V that's just formed. That's from the, the chain one we just worked. And you're going to put your hook into here. And especially in the beginning, this is just a little fiddly. Again, take off one. So this is basically the chain stitch you're working, and then work your single crochet. And if you work now to the bottom, you see you've got one more V. That's this one here. You are going to work your next foundation single crochet in this space. So you're going to work along your edge basically. So the next one. Through both those loops. You really want to get both of them. Chain one and work your single crochet. And again, chain one and work your single crochet. And if you look now, this here is the top of your work, this is the bottom. You now have one, two, three, four single crochets and the chain one here at the beginning. So depending on your pattern, how many single crochets you need, you can work this to the correct length. I'll show you a few more. So again, this V here at the bottom. And it does get easier as your work becomes larger. First is the chain stitch and then the single crochet. And when you get the hang of this, it, you can do this faster. And this is just a great way of working your single crochets and your chains together. Like so. Chain one. 